guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. You guys seriously amaze me. Literally yesterday, we reached 150 subscribers, which is completely out of this world. My goal for next week's video is to have 200 subscribers and hopefully 1,000 views on my Welcome to My Channel video, which already is at, I believe, 800 views right now. So only 200 more views and we can reach our goal. I really just wanted to make this a fun little community and it's already growing so fast and it makes me so happy. So thank you so much for being here guys. I really appreciate it. So video number three, we got a Depop haul. And for those of you who are not familiar with Depop, it's a secondhand clothing and vintage clothing app. I also have some like boutique designer stuff on there too if you're interested in that. But the way Depop works is, you know me, I shop on every secondhand platform that there is and just it's been the most trendy and affordable and high quality combination that I've seen throughout all platforms. I wanna share it with you guys. I think that it is a wonderful place that makes me feel like I don't need fast fashion. Um, because when you're thrifting all the time, it's so easy to look like a grandma, which you know, I love that. Like, that's me half the time. A lot of my friends often tell me that I'm like, oh, I got some Depop. pop They're like, how? Like, I can't find anything cute on there. So in today's video, I'm also gonna be touching base on, you know, what are my secrets? <laughs> How do I find cheap shit on Depop? How do I find good, high quality stuff too that's also super trendy? So without further ado, let's get into the video. So to start, I found this Rouge Baby Doll top on Depop by looking through the Things We Love page. After looking through the individual seller, I saw that they actually had a ton of trendy items that you'll see again later in this video. My best advice when you're interested in one or more items from a seller is to just ask if they'd be willing to bundle the items for you and offer a discount. This is super common on the app and most sellers will even offer you a bundle before you even get the chance to ask. For example, this mesh turtleneck was also from the same seller. I'll insert the name of her account here too if you guys are interested in checking her store out. These biker shorts are also the Kendall and Kylie collection ones. I got them on Depop from another seller I will link right here. The last part of this outfit is one of my favorite things I've gotten on Depop. It's a vintage Liz Claiborne mini bag with faux crocodile leather. I seriously take this thing with me everywhere. It is the perfect size. I just throw on my keys, my sunglasses, and I am out the door. It seriously works for a great everyday bag, and it was literally only $12, so here I am exposing myself. But with this item, I literally just searched black mini bag, and that's how I found it. So if you know what you're looking for, it's the best way to find an item on Depop. Also, this seller was super sweet and literally wrote me a handwritten card, so just another reason to shop small and secondhand. This sweater is actually one of the first items I ever bought on Depop. It's a handmade tennis crew from the 80s that I'm absolutely in love with. Another tip when looking for unique items is using keywords. An example of this would be searching anything from Y2K, 80s apparel, or model off-duty instead of just searching for something labeled vintage. And another tip on top of this is to find the sellers that know how to specify what you're looking for. An example of this is a seller Borderline Retro, mentions in her bio that she creates 80s, 90s, and 2000s vintage apparel. Her collection is incredible. I highly recommend checking her out. She has literally almost 500 five-star reviews and over 1,000 items sold. Like, this is the type of gem you want to be buying from. So I'll be linking her name right here so you guys can go check her out. All the details on this sweater seriously make me so happy. I don't know why, but just like the little mini tennis ball in the middle, it just gets me so weak every time. So this next outfit was bought entirely secondhand. The top and the bag are from Depop, and the skirt is from Lexi Melzer's Instagram closet, so I will be linking that below. 
all your girlfriends sell their stuff on Instagram closets. Check them out, support your friends. It's such an easy way to divert clothing to being sent to Goodwill and also get your friends a little bit more cool and girl. Now I'm gonna be sharing my most top secret tip on Depop and that is to keep up with high fashion Twitter, it girls, Instagram influencers, and even celebrities because girl, they all use this platform. Whether or not they're publicly saying on social media or mentioning that they posted their closets in a YouTube video, do some digging. If you like someone's style, see if they have an account. This sweater actually came from the queen and future it girl herself, Veronica, aka at Chloe Girl on Twitter. I'm linking her Depop below so you guys can go check out her stuff. It is all seriously so cute and trendy. I would highly recommend it. She literally was so sweet and shipped me a ton of items all the way from the United Kingdom. I just kind of great. This next item is a one-of-a-kind Campbell Soup pop art tee from artist Ron Kimmel. So I'm noticing it still has the authentication tag on it because I forgot to take it off. But just know I will be living in this during the summer while I'm having to take my online shopping courses. I bought the item through the account Free Agent. Moron exclusively sells a few items. He is seriously so unique and his stuff is full of energy as you can tell. I'd highly recommend looking into Free Agent if you're looking into getting yourself something special while also supporting smaller artists during this unusual time of our lives. If you're still here watching, thank you so much. Please remember to like this video. I know you forgot. It's okay. Or just leave a comment below saying hi. I love responding to everyone. Um, it seriously makes my entire day. So thank you guys so much. This next outfit is entirely from Depop, and a tip for finding great basics is to be specific in your search and then filter the selections based on your size. And for those of you who watched my first video, these are the pants that I mentioned that were originally too small for me. If you guys want to see a tutorial on a few different ways to make your clothes fit you better, let me know in the comments below. These sunglasses are from a Depop store called Retrovision. The brandy tank is from another seller who will link below. And the pants are from the Angela's Dolls bundle that I mentioned earlier in this video. This fanny pack has been one of the most high quality items I've bought on Depop for the price. And I actually bought it because I was worried about being pickpocketed while traveling abroad last summer, but I've seriously used it so much more than I could have imagined, from game days to going out thrifting. Also, this tank is from Lexi Melzer's closet, and the pants are from Goodwill. So if you guys want me to do a little Goodwill tips and tricks video after quarantine, let me know. Thrifting is one of my favorite things to do in my free time, but typically you're not going to find what's trending or a cute going out like crop top to wear. My best tip for looking for items like this is to go super broad in your search on Depop. And I find amazing stuff by using keywords, so things like going out tops, crop tops, bodysuits, or just going the complete opposite direction with your search and be super specific with what you're looking for in terms of style, print, or color. For example, this olive green crop sweater. I've been seeing it all over my Pinterest, so I went to Depop to try and find it. So I searched for things like crop green cardigan, green crop sweater, and green sweater crop top. I eventually found exactly what I was looking for, and I could have easily bought this from Shein, Zaffle, Forever 21, you name it. But by getting this item pre-loved, I feel so much better about the environmental impact my wardrobe has on the planet. This shirt is an example of something that I almost caved in and bought brand new from Urban, but I knew that fast fashion items have a really quick turnover rate to secondhand markets, so what did I do? I waited, and I kid you not, two months later when I remembered to search for this item again, it was there. And not to mention, it was also 50% off the original price tag that I saw in stores. This seller was also so sweet, gave me a free scrunchie, and even wrote me a letter thanking me for being her first customer. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching today's video. It was so much fun to film, so if you could leave a like, it would really mean a lot to me to help my channel grow. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I'm going to be trying to put this little button thing here, so let me know how that goes. I'll be posting a new video next week, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys then.